Hello guys, my friends, we are here with Mass Effect 2 in sanity mode, and sadly I can't use a controller, so I have to use a mouse and keyboard, which I'm not used to, so this is gonna, oh, this is gonna be a treat. Importing our Christopher Shepard from our last game we went through hell and back and shot in the back by teammates Garrus son of a bitch level 53 definitely not well this is oh that's a save I downloaded just so I could unlock on sanity mode which didn't quite work as well as I'd hoped so I had to dive into the game's files but that was from aspect 1 this is my legit save from Aspect 1. Let's get into it, shall we? I should have turned down the game volume. Oh well. Insanity mode, yes, auto level up off, definitely, because I don't want any people fucking up their own stats. <laughs> or skills, rather. My name, here, Frank, 53, sadly, I wanted 60, but I never get 60. I've never gotten to 60 before, and I've tried and made a very real effort before, never made it. Infiltrator, all the way. Yes, I did, for the most part. <laughs> There is never going to be a day that he won't be killed on Vermeer. I, he was a brother to me in the, when I was first started playing Mass Effect, but I can't put a lady in her grave for him. I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. Yep. I saved the council. I'm going to regret it. Let's begin. <clears throat> oh, Miranda. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard. Uncovered the truth. That's what I do best. But still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. How? I could have read that, but no, nah, I'm good. The Normandy! Hi, guys! Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. 
Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Oh, Captain. shit. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! I really wouldn't freak out in a situation like this. Mayday! 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 This is SSV Normandy! We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy! That, 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 ah. Have to fuck around either. Watch the
Oh, damn it. Okay, I'll I'll go through this, I guess. Just I don't need to. Mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. Yeah, I'm not we the came across the type. lone survivor of the patrol, I'm... Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. A yeah. soldier to the core. I guess Tough, later. disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. I guess I'm more flexible. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact, a beacon left by a long-dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. And that's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. Uh -huh. as was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite Spectres could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof. Uh -huh. Which meant I needed proof. Uh -huh. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security. Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Sarah. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, she'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara, a Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, Daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. 
and a new appreciation for the Asari. Mm -hmm. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I don't even know how that happened. I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently, she'd felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead, Venezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Venezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Venezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information, I tried to reason with Venezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Venezia wouldn't surrender, and Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed, violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real, but he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign, Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship, was a Reaper. It spoke to me, threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control. Said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself. Or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran. Leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried. But I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Caden was a good man and a great soldier. But I had to choose, and I chose Ash. Sorry, buddy. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Caden's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. 
Until that moment, we'd put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that. Each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reapers' return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Adina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. Mm -hmm. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to clean-up duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Commander Shepard has been recovered. 
The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. I guess I can roll with this. It doesn't look too bad, actually. I wish you could change the eyes or the eyebrows or something like that, though. So. Eh, alright. Let's roll with that. Infiltrator? Of course. What else would it be? Cloaking system that allows them to avoid detection for short periods of time, granting a tactical advantage over enemies, and something that'll save your ass if you need it. Infiltrators are tech and combat specialists with the unique ability to cloak themselves for visual and technological detection. Infiltrators are deadly at any range with a wide variety of weapons, equipment, and powers that can take down any enemy. The Earthborn War Hero. Yes, I am. Let's do it. He's reacting to outside stimuli. I hear the voice of an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The scout's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. Heart rate dropping. Staff's falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Hey, look, it's me. Shepard, do you hear me? Get out of that bed now. This facility is under attack. Shepard, your scars aren't healed, but I need you to get moving. This facility is under attack. Oh, this is the end point of face. On the other side of the room. Hurry. Hopefully it looks good. I'm gonna find out. Grab That's the pistol and good. armor from the locker. Yeah, I'd rather. You don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon and armor. Um, I barely. Fine, whatever. New armor, this too. This pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Oh boy. Someone's hacking security, trying Send to kill you. Mode. Look for a thermal clip. Keyboard for mouse. Hey, what the? F That's concerning. All right. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out! Ah! Perfect. Keep moving. We need to get you to the shuttles. All right. Let's see how this goes. I might want to remap my powers though. Oh, it's space. Okay. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your position. Don't take any chances. Stay in cover while you take out those mechs. Wherever the mechs are. Yeah. Yeah.
No, I almost got myself killed. What about my powers? I'm not sure how. Um. I can map them, but I can also just... I think I'll do this instead, then. Taking a little bit for me to get used to. Hurry, get to the door, run. You're doing fine, Chef. Head to the next room. I don't think so. Chef, free me. I've got the closing in on my position. Miranda. She's a sweetheart. Uh, she is. Doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Yeah, about that. Look, pal. I don't know where I am or how I got here. Plus, my head feels like an overripe melon ready to split open. How about you fill me in a little? Damn. Yeah, I forgot this is all new to you. Sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Okay, all right. It's your station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. The good stuff? <laughs> I wouldn't call that good stuff. Authorized. Uh, much better. Excuse me. Ready to get the hell off this station? Honestly, yes, but for your all sake. Before we go anywhere, I need some answers. Please tell me sure. those what eyeballs do you want to know? don't cross. Please, don't. <laughs> don't let the eyeballs cross. Uh, when I first woke up, 
Someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. I guess Miranda it's Lawson passable. is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Yeah, me too. Fine. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I, I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge soldier, of the station soldier. security. Uh, what? Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. You're technically Miranda's top lieutenant, but you're just a soldier. S are lieutenants usually soldiers unless they're in the research division? I, I don't know. Anyway. Um... Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Mm, okay, I don't care about my injuries. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? That would actually be my first Just choice. about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. Mm. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Yeah, he wouldn't know that, but that's good. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if check, you... Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? No. Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... How do you mean, how the hell? You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. Okay. Change it back to medium. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station Ew. is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Oh, God. They found me. Help! Wilson, where are you? Server room B! Hurry! They're out of control! I'll go there, Shepard. Can I, like, run straight?
turn it back to medium. Actually, let's check something. Our orders were clear. Make Commander Shepard who he Turn it back to medium. <laughs> Something feels weird about low, and even worse about high. Shepard, down here. That's nice. Anyway, let's go. Let's, let's, let's look around here. Oh man, hold on. There's nothing like that. What do you want, Wilson? Bastards got me in the leg. Um. Okay. We need to get off this station. Going anywhere till someone fixes my leg. Should be some meta gel I mean, in the first aid station him. on the wall. Well, that would Hopefully, be there's this. enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the meta gel from the first aid station on the wall. Get your meta gel. Wilson's hurt bad. He needs help. No, he doesn't need help. He needs. <sighs> Thanks, case. Shepard. <laughs> Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Huh? No. I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and no, fix this. Besides, question, I was right? shot. How do you explain that? Um. This is not important right now. We need to go. I don't care who set up who. Those mechs are shooting at all of us. We'll sort it out later. We need to find Miranda first. We can't just leave her behind. Uh, forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. I'm not leaving her. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead or she's a traitor. But, yeah, she helped me. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. That backpedal. That doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Uh, no. We can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. Gotta hurt! Okay. Have it. That's it. Let's get out of here. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project, the program that... I wouldn't expect a shot in the back if you by are... Cerberus. Okay, I wouldn't expect a shot in the back if I know you all spent all that money to bring me back. What, what the hell would be the point of that, then? I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group. No, right? you did. Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. It's just that name. The Elusive Man. Is he in charge of all this? Kinda. Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kinda stuck. <sighs> well, let's go. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever. You didn't have to cut your voice when I pull out my gun or anything. What? Okay. Alright, what am I looking for? All right. uh... I have to press Space to select. I thought I had to use the mouse. I almost failed that. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. 
Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna need some help here. Like, now. <laughs> right now. We're good. We're good. We are alive. Alive and chicken. Is there anything up here I should be worried about? Yes. yes. That's not good. I need to help you. Put that pin down right now. I need help right now. Impact <laughs> imminent. Hey guys. Impact guys. Guy. Fine. <laughs> Fuck you too. Jesus. This is not covered. I will shoot you. That's a nice trick. Firing. Rerouting power. You stay right there. Damn it. <laughs> Test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. No. You don't get to die. And internal injuries from the explosion. Subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to factory sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. Yes. Okay. I hate how quickly my mouse moves for that. I wonder. Okay. Gotcha. Got it. Never mind. I'm good. Should have took the right stairs. <laughs> Should have took the right ramp. Definitely should have took the right ramp. Come on, through here. We're almost at the Miranda. Hi. But you were. Oh shit. Dead. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Well, he did try to pin blame damn early. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Thank you. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Honestly, no. But, oh, well, I'm sure some people want to know. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? 
Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Of course he does. Everyone wants to use me. Just once, something can't go without some hitch or some hook. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. There's no point in giving her that ultimatum. This place isn't going anywhere. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Roll out. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Two years. This is a waste of time. I feel as good as ever. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you grew up on Earth. Tough environment, no parents. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? I had no choice, and I did have to win. Because I'm not going to let people die. A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. I'm kind of curious. Memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Oh, uh, sure he is. I think I'll call this an episode for now. Thank you all for sticking with me in episode 1 of Mass Effect 2 Insanity Mode. I'm sure you'll... Oh, I'm looking forward to the next episode. <laughs> but thanks guys. Take care. Hi.